Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and this is part two of how to make my Lumigurumi Puppy Love Dog. So, so far we have made the separate pieces in part one. We did the ears, the legs, the nose, and the tail. So if you didn't do that, you need to go to that now, and I will add the link. And now in part two, we're going to learn how to put it all together and finish him off. And I do have that separate tutorial for the heart. And again, I will add the link to that if you want to make a little heart for him to hold. I wanted to give you just a quick reminder of the band counts. I'm not going to go over all of the materials again. But the total band count for the entire dog is 794 white, 320 purple, and two black. The head will begin with a magic ring of six, so I have my seven rubber bands. So once again, we're going to triple the first. And then I have six more to pull through, so that's one. Two, three, let me just take this out, four, five, six, and again just make sure that these are evenly spaced around that circle. In row two, you're going to need 12 bands, and we are doing an increase in every stitch. So we're doing two bands into every single stitch. And this is going to be the top of the head. So we want it to start to flare out right away, give it a nice rounded shape. The last two stitches. Just move that. I feel like that stitch marker is always in the way when I get to that last stitch there. In row three, we're going to increase to 18 bands and we're doing an increase in every other stitch. So I'm starting off with a single, and then increase in the second, single in the third, and then an increase in the fourth, Just going to keep on repeating. So once again we're just trying to get that nice rounded shape for the top of the head. And then after this we're going to attach the ears. So in that second to last stitch we have the single, and then finally in the last we have the increase. In row four you're going to need 18 bands, and we are going to attach the ears. 
So that's going to be on bands 1 through 3, and then again on bands 10 through 12. So I'm going to go through the stitch on the head, and I'm going to take my ear. I want the loose band to be down towards the bottom, and I'm going to go in that same stitch that that last band is in. I'm going to push through that, then I'm going to grab the loose band, get that on my hook, and then what I'm going to do is go straight across. So it might be a little hard to see. I'm just going to make sure I have this all stuck on my hook, and let me pull this up so you can get a better view. I'm just going to push straight across, so I'm through the stitch that's opposite that. So then I'm going to pull through everything on my hook, the ear section and the head section, get the other end back on. I have the three loops, and one goes through the other two. Now over to the next stitch on the head, and I'm going to go through the center here of the ear. Again, I'm doing both sets of stitches. So this is one and straight across. So you see four loops on there going to pull through the two ear stitches and the one on the head. Again, one through the other two. And then one more time, I'm going to go straight through the two stitches on the end. Take my last band for this ear and pull through. So now if you look, it should be attached we attached it all on just that same row and then you're going to have six singles so that's one two three four five and six. And now we're going to attach the second ear the same exact way. So I'm going to go through the stitch and then I'm going to take the ear. I want the loose band towards the bottom. I'm going to go through that same stitch that that last band is through, just the one side. Pick up the loose band and again I'm going to pull this back and lift this up so I can see the stitch that's straight across. Push through through the ear, the head, and through. Now I have the head. I'm going to go through the center two stitches straight across on the ear. And then one more. You might have to sort of try and open this up to see where those stitches are. I know it gets kind of closed off just going to go straight through, pull through, and back on. Now I do want to make sure that this stays sort of upright. I'm going to just take this ear stitch and pull it over just a little bit. And then that should leave us with six more stitches to get back to the start. So I had decided to do the ear um, together on the same row because I wanted the ears to be more floppy and they do tend to stick up a little bit so if you would like to you can tack them down. Just depends on what look you like. In rows 5 through 8, we're doing one single crochet into each stitch, so you're going to need 18 bands for each one of the rows. So you can pause here and do that now, and I'll see you back here in a few. In row 9, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch, and we are going to attach the nose on bands 2 through 6. So I'm doing one single crochet, and then in the next five stitches we're going to start to attach the nose. So I'm going to go through this stitch on the head, 
and I'm going to pick up my nose piece here and this is the top as I said with the two bands in between the two purple and so I want the loose band towards the bottom and I'm going to count up around in a counterclockwise direction so I'm not going to count the loose band here where the clip is I'm going to count five stitches and that's where I'm going to start so not counting the loose one I'm going one two three four five so it's this one here and I'm going to put the outside against the outside that's how they're going to line up I'm just going to put them against one another and I'm going to pull through both sets of stitches and then I'm going to go to the next stitch on the head the next stitch on the nose so this is number two and then we have the third fourth. Just make sure you're not skipping any stitches. And then one more, number five. And that's all the parts we're going to attach for this row. And then it's just a matter of doing one in each the, way, the rest of the way around. So the nose is going to attach on the next several rows. And I think it's actually pretty easy to attach. I found that it's much easier to attach things during building your rows than it is to attach it after the fact. At least it is for me. So I try really hard to do that in my tutorials. Try to make things all one piece and anything that has to get attached I like to do it within each row. So let's see, it looks like I have three left. There's my last one. In row 10 you're going to need 16 bands. We are doing two decreases, so where I have the clips indicates our decreases. And then we are going to attach the nose on bands 1, 5, and 16. So I just have a little alpha loom band I stuck in there just to indicate that's where we're going to attach. So I'm going to go under stitch on the head and then I'm going to find the next empty stitch over on the nose. I'm going to push through. This is going to be the first place that it attaches. And you can just bend this up and out of the way because the next three are just going to go only through the head portion. So that's one, two, three, and now the next one I'm going through the head and then I'm going to pick up the next band on the nose, the next empty band, or next empty stitch I should say, and that's going to connect. So just pull through both sets. And then we have a single. So just make sure you're going through the right one here. And then we have a decrease, so outer loops. And then I have a total of six singles. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, oops, four, five, and six. And then I have another decrease. And then there should be two stitches left. So the first one is just regular. And then the second one is going to, again, attach part of the nose. So you're going through, find that next empty stitch on the nose. And I didn't quite make it through there. There we go. Row 11 has 13 bands. We're doing three more decreases and the nose is going to attach on bands 4 and 13. So I have three singles that's just going through the head section. So here's one, two, three, and then in that fourth one I'm going through the head and then the next open stitch on the nose. And then I have a single, and then a decrease, and then I have two singles. and then another decrease and now there's a single and a decrease and then there's two left so the first one is regular And then with that last one, let me just take my stitch marker out. Again, I'm going to go through the head and then the next stitch over on the nose piece. So it should be getting most of the way closed off. We'll finish it in the next row. I'm going to add the eyes and the eyebrows next before I do any more rows. And so I'm going to stick the eyes. You can really see what you think. I sort of like the look of the eyes when they're a little bit closer together. So I'm going to go to the second row up from where the nose is connected. And that's where I'm going to put my eyes. If you wanted to, you could spread them out or you can see where you think they look best. I just sort of like the look of them when they're there. And then once you have your eye placement, what you can do is do the eyebrows if you choose. You don't have to do eyebrows. But I'm going to go up to this row above. And I'm going to go not to the very next diagonal one, but the one that's like a farther diagonal. And I'm going to stretch these out just a little bit so they're not too tight. So I'm going to just pull that through take my additional band, this is just going to tie it off and make a nice and tight slip knot and then I'm just going to reach up through and slide this around I think that's just easier that way instead of trying to work it from the inside so just straighten those out and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side 
So I'm going to go over to here, come up diagonally, and stretch this out just a little bit. Take my inside band. Again, make a nice and tight slip knot. And then I'm just going to reach up through and just slide that around. And so I have my safety eyes just stuck in there. And they do have a back that goes on them. If you want to lock them in place, I'm not going to bother to do that. I wind up having to steal eyes from my other creations to use, so I'm just going to leave them loose in there. But if you're going to give it away to somebody, you'd probably want to permanently fix them in there. And then if you did want to tack down the ears, I would suggest doing that now. You would just reach up through, find where you think it should naturally lay, and go through a band or so on the ear, and then take your, whatever your main color is, pull that down through, and then reach out through the next hole, pull that through to the inside, and then just take an additional band and make a tight slip knot. So, looks kind of out of shape here because we don't have the stuffing in. And so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some stuffing in the head here before it gets too closed off. So it's not going to, the hole's actually not going to be totally closed. The neck's going to thin, but you can still add more at a later date if you need to. Another thing that we need to do is to add the mouth before we close this off. So what I'm going to do is I have my two black bands. I'm going to go right to this opening below the nose. I'm going to reach up through, grab one end of the black band, pull it down through. And then I'm just going to come diagonally up and to the right. Grab the other side and pull that down through. And you see how this little white loop is from this stitch? I just want to make sure that that's up above. I mean, it's just a matter of preference, but I think it makes it look nice if it's nestled in there a little bit. So I'm just going to let that go and hang. And then I'm going to carefully push up through that same opening. And I want to pull down through the other black band. And then this time I'm going to go diagonally up into the left and pull that down through as well. So what you're going to be left with in the back here is four loose black loops. So I'm just going to go through all four of them and you could loop them through one another if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave them like this. I'm going to take my additional band and pull through everything on my hook and make a nice and tight slip knot. And then you have to make sure that's hidden up inside of there. And you can play around with the smile however you like it. It should be on the loose side since we didn't pull those bands tight. Again, I want this white to sort of stick up higher than the black. If you think you're too loose, you can always pull this through to the back tighter. And then I'm going to take just this tiny, tiny bit of stuffing, and this is totally optional, but I am going to just add this little bit of stuffing up inside of there. You just want a very small amount if you're going to use any. You'll need 11 bands for row 12. We're going to be doing two more decreases, and we're attaching the last part of the nose on bands one through three. So the first three are going to go through the head and also through the nose. And they should line up pretty well here. 
So there's the first one. And now, technically, this loose band is a stitch we have to count. So this part's a little bit tricky. You're going to go through the stitch on the head, and then you're also going to go through the stitch, this loose stitch, but see how it's not connected? So you have to be a little slick here and just lay that across. And it's not actually going to connect until the next stitch. So if you hold this across, like that. So now when we go through our next, we're going to go through the head. Now we're going to grab this loose band and make that a solid stitch. And then we have one more. It's a little hard to get at. There's one open one left on the nose here. And you're going to pull through the two stitches on that loose band. You might have to wiggle your hook a little bit left and right to get through it all. Or you can always just use your fingers if you have to. And then we have a single. And then we have a decrease. So all these decreases in the last couple rows are just trying to narrow this head so we have a neck shape. And then we have three singles. There's one, two, and three. We have another decrease. And then there are two singles. So this is actually the narrowest that this is going to get. And then your nose should be attached. And you can mess around with the eyebrows if you want to, or the eyes. If the nose looks a little bit out of shape, you can always shift the bands around so you get it to look nice and symmetrical. And then, as I said, if you wanted to tack down the ears, you can always do this and sort of get the ears to try and bend downward more. In rows 13 through 15, you're going to need a total of 48 bands. And I am just going to let you do those rows on your own. They're pretty self-explanatory. In row 13, you're going to need 11 bands, and it's just one in each. In row 14, you're going to be doing a single followed by an increase. That's just going to repeat, and you can see that's going to end on a single. And then in row 15, you're going to do two singles followed by an increase, repeating, and again, you can see that's going to end on one single. So you can pause and do that now, and I will see you back here soon. In row 16, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch, and we're going to start to attach the first leg on bands 17 and 18. So we're going to begin by doing 16 singles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
and 16. And now we're going to attach the first leg. We're going to do just two stitches. So you want to hold the leg so that the toe is pointing towards you. You're going to see that last band is going to be right at the top here. We're going to go to that next stitch around. First I need to go through the stitch on the body and then that next empty stitch on the leg. We're pushing from the outside in and then picking up this loose band. So I'm going to pull through those stitches, leave this one at the base and then one through the other two. Now the next stitch over on the body and this loose band that we just connected, that's going to be our next stitch on the leg. So through those two stitches. And now that's going to leave us with three singles and that's just going to be one in each. You'll need 21 bands for row 17, and we're going to attach the second leg on bands 1 and 2, and then also bands 16, 18, and 21. So this next leg is going to attach the same way as we did the first. You want the toe facing towards you. The loose band is going to be right at the top. You're going to go over to the next open stitch from the outside. Grab that loose band, and I didn't quite make it through there. Now you're going to go through the three loops for the leg, and then the stitch on the body, and one through the other two. Next one on the body, that band we just connected from the leg. And then we're going to do 13 singles. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So now we're on to our sixteenth band here going to go through the body and then the next empty stitch here on the leg and then with band 17 you're only going through the body and then band 18 you're going through the body now on the leg we are going to skip the next open stitch here just because we have a total of seven and I'm only going to connect it through six. So you want to skip this next open stitch and go to the next one in that clockwise direction. And then that's going to leave us with three. So we have one, two, and then on this 21st band, we're going to again go through the leg. So we're also going to skip that stitch. So I'm going through the body. I'm going to skip the next open stitch around here and go to that very next one.
In row 18, we're connecting the legs on bands 2, 16, 17, and 21. So I'm just going to slide these all over. So our first one is going only through the body. And then the second one is going through the body and through the leg. And then we're going to do 13 singles. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And now this is um, band 16. It's going to go through the leg and the body. And then the 17th one again. Now this is going to be almost all the way closed off, so it's kind of hard to see. But you should have one empty stitch left on the leg. And then... We're going to do three regular singles. And then on the 21st band, we're going to go through the next open stitch on the leg. It's going to leave just one stitch left on the leg that we'll pick up in the next row. In row 19, it's again one in each, so you'll have 21 bands, and it's just on this very first one that you're going to connect the last open band in the leg. So I'll just start this row with you, and then I'll let you finish it on your own. So you can see I did add a little more stuffing. I'm going to go through the body. Again, there should be that one open stitch on the leg. It's kind of closed off. And this should totally finish off our two legs. And then you're just going to continue the rest of your way around with singles in each. In rows 20 through 23, it's going to be one in each. So it's 21 bands per row. You can go ahead and pause and do that now. And I'll see you back here in a few minutes. In row 24, we're going to start to attach the next set of legs. So that's going to be in stitches 12 and 13, and then 18 and 19. So we're going to start with 11 singles. I'm just going to move these over. So that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more. So that's 11. And now in the 12th one, we're going to do the leg. So same thing as we did before. You want to have the toe pointing towards you. And you're going to take the next stitch around in a counterclockwise direction from your loose band. 
go through that open stitch and then grab that loose band and pull through and then the next stitch on the body and the one we just connected on the leg so this is going to be stitch 13 and then we're going to do four in between so that's one two three and four and now we have the next leg so point the toe go to the next stitch after your loose band and then also grab that loose band so that's going to be stitch 18 and then the next one grab that loose band we just connected for number 19 it's going to leave you with two and then we're back to the start in row 25 we're going to be doing four decreases you're going to need just 17 bands we're going to attach the tail and then we're going to attach the leg on bands 8, 10, um, 13, and 15. So I am starting out with a single. And then we're going to do a decrease. And then on the next two stitches, we're going to attach the tail. So for that, we don't have a very big piece for the tail. We have just um, four bands, counting the loose loop here as one of those. So what I'm going to do is just stick my hook through. Um, it's not going to be an exact science here, but maybe I'll go like to the next open stitch here and then also grab the loose band gonna pull through and then I'll go to the next stitch over and I do want to also go through the tail again so I think I'll go through this loose band I just attached and then maybe go right across and go through. It's it's so small that it's it's kind of hard so as long as you just get through a few bands you'll be alright. And now we're doing a decrease and then a single a decrease And now we're going to attach the leg here. So find your next empty stitch on the outer side of the leg. And then the next one is going just through the body, so don't go through the leg. And then on this next one, we're going through each. And remember, we have that extra band on the leg we have seven and we only want to do six so we're going to skip this next open stitch on the leg and go to the one that's above that in that clockwise direction kind of have my bands all messed up here and then we're going to do a single and then a decrease And then on the next one, we're going to again attach the leg. So this is where we're going to skip. We want to skip towards the inside. So I'm going to skip the next available stitch on the leg and go around to the next. And 
and then we have just uh, the next one through only the body. And then through the body and the next open stitch on the leg. And then that's going to leave us with two single crochet. So I think after this I am going to add some more stuffing. Just because we are going to start to narrow this. For row 26, we're going to need just 13 bands, so we're doing four more decreases, and this is going to close off the legs, and that's going to be on bands 6 and 7, and again on 10 and 11. So we're doing two singles to start. And then I'm going to do a decrease. You can see these bands are kind of close together. Sometimes when you attach pieces, some of the stitches are a little tighter just because of that extra pull. So just be careful on that. And then we have a single. And then another decrease. And then the next two are going to finish off the leg. So again, when you get to this very last one, it's a little bit hard to see that last leg stitch. And then we're going to do a decrease. And then a single. And then the next two are going to close off this next leg. So you should have those two open stitches on your leg. And then what we have left is a decrease. And then finally a single. So we're almost done here. You can see that it's getting really closed off. And now is the time you want to add any additional stuffing. You definitely want it to be full, but you don't want it to be super full because with all these decreases, there's more of a tendency for you to be able to see in between the stitches. So you just want to make sure you don't overfill it or that's just going to make that puff open even farther. In row 27, we're going to be using nine bands and this is going to be the end here. So we have three singles, five decreases, and then one to tie it off. So when you get down to the end here like this, it's always a little bit tricky to figure out how you're going to close it off. Um, it's never like super neat, I don't think, at least for me, it never works out so great. So I'm going to be doing three singles, and the reason I'm doing singles back here instead of decreases is I found that he sits up a little better if I do regular singles and don't continue to decrease it right below his tail. And then I'm just going to do five decreases because I want to get this totally closed off. And if you find that something works better for you, 
you could certainly do that. I mean, really, he's going to be sitting on this part, so you're not going to notice it that much. But I like things to be really, like, neat and uniform. And this part always is on the messy side to me. Here's another decrease. And then another decrease. These bands are kind of close together because they're the ones that are through the legs. And then one more decrease. Let me just take out this stitch marker. And so now you can see it's really basically closed off. And what I'm going to do is just hold this in my fingers, take my hook out, and I just want to work this loose band here kind of in through these bands to just close it off because you don't want to keep building rows or it's going to keep growing taller and then he's going to have like a pointy bottom and you don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to take my hook and just kind of randomly weave in and out of these like I'm doing like one mega decrease here and then I'll just slide this through and then I'll just totally close that off so there shouldn't be any holes and then I'm going to go under a loop or two and here's where I need to just pull through everything with that last band make a really tight slip knot and then it's just a matter of reaching up through and snagging that loop and just pulling it through to the inside. So it should look pretty closed off. If you feel like there's any holes that you can see the stuffing through more than you like, you can always take an extra band, just go through, make a tight slip knot, and then hide the loop just to close off any gaps. But then your puppy should be complete and hopefully he should sit up well. If you feel like you need to adjust the legs at all, like you feel like one's a little higher than the other, or it needs to twist one way or another, you can always play around with it. And then hopefully he should sit up fairly well for you. Let's try it out. And again, you can always, they're very pliable, so you can scrunch them around. I hope that everyone really loves and adores their new little puppy dogs. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook. You can post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you can stay updated when I have new tutorials available. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram. So you can post your pictures on Instagram too. And don't forget to tag me. Thanks for watching.